Hello everyone and welcome to Evolkai, a machine learning community for machine learning enthusiasts. Now, today we will be learning about extra tree classifier. So, what is extra tree classifier? So, the extra tree extra trees classifier, also known as extremely randomized trees classifier, is built on an ensemble of decision trees with a different approach. Uh, similar to random forest, it randomly selects a subset of uh, features at each node, but it goes a step further. In extra trees classifier, the decision tree is constructed using random splits on the feature without considering the optimal split point. This means that the splitting thresholds are chosen randomly rather than being determined based on the information gain or gain impurity. This random splitting process makes extra trees more computationally efficient than random forest because it does not need to evaluate as many potential splits. Similar to random forest, the final prediction in the uh, extra tree classifier is made by aggregating the prediction of all trees in the ensemble model. Now, the extra trees uh, classifier is very uh, robust and versatile. It uh, is used in industries like finance and healthcare, and uh, it is up, uh, and you can say that it is a better version of random forest. Now, moving to the practical part. Okay, so let us first see this uh, uh, the extra trees classifier uh, diagrammatically. So, considering uh, each color as a tree. Now, these are uh, certain branches of the tree yielding result 1046, 2368, 3112, and 1024. Now, each tree has to, if uh, you are familiar with the algorithm uh, alpha beta pruning, so uh, what we do in alpha beta pruning from each branch, we uh, take a high, a minimum or low, uh, a minimum or maximum value to the upper branch. So, uh, if you want us to make any certain videos on uh, algorithms like alpha beta pruning or max min, uh, max min uh, algorithms, then uh, please uh, please uh, comment us or mail us. Uh, we'll uh, do the needful. So what we uh, do here is that uh, like for this uh, orange one, the maximum uh, value will be selected. So in this case, it is six. So six is taken out. Now for the green it is 8 so 8 is taken out and now for the blue it is 3 so 3 and for the grey it is 4 so we have taken out 4. Now uh, in this way uh, random split points are created for the data that are separated and each and the maximum value uh, or the best value is taken out and eventually the data is aggregated and the prediction is made. Now uh, moving to the practical part. So uh, as always, we will import pandas library. We'll use read CSV and uh, read the CSV file. We'll get data information using data.info where we will get the all information related to the data type and uh, if the data set has null values or not, uh, the memory uh, the data uh, is using. And uh, now we will, uh, we will split the data into features and prediction class. So features are the part that uh, our user will give as input and prediction class is the part that uh, uh, the machine, the model will give us the output and we will uh, define them as x and y. So x will have all the feature features value and y will have all the data's value. Uh, then uh, we, we will split the data to testing and training using train test split from SQL hundred model selection library. We'll, uh, we'll split the data in such a way that the training part is more and testing part is less. So uh, 7 is to 3 is considered as a good practice, but uh, you can adjust this, uh, uh, adjust it according to your need. Now, uh, we will check uh, the the testing and training shape if the split has been, uh, if the split uh, split has been done correctly or not. Uh, so, we can uh, check that the training data has a good split, uh, has uh, more data. So, the training part, uh, training and testing has been done correctly since the testing part is low. Uh, now this is the important part from sklearn.trees we will import sklearn uh, we will import uh, extra tree classifier now uh, all the tree related to you can find decision tree also in extra tree classifier uh, but in symbol uh, since it is an ensemble uh, technique you can also find it in ensemble library 
now uh, we will import we will uh, define the extra this model into a classifier and we'll fit the classifier with xtrain and ytrain now we will uh, uh, we will predict the data uh, on x test and store it in the y uh, ypred variable using the model clf now uh, from sklearn dot uh, we will import matrix and from matrix we will use accuracy score function to pred uh, to check if uh, the data is accurate data has accurately predicted or not so if the y test and y pred values are same so our accuracy will increase and if they are not uh, the accuracy will decrease so uh, extra d classifier uh, for this has not uh, yielded a good result since the accuracy has reduced to 77.77 and I believe uh, uh, a reason for this could be uh, that uh, extra tree classifier uh, splits the data. So uh, data set is very small. Uh, very small. So a uh, uh, possible reason could be that uh, the data splitting uh, could have the data splitting could not have been proper, or the data would have split it too much, uh, resulting in a low accuracy. Uh, so now if uh, if we want to uh, uh, overcome this problem, we need to provide uh, more data to the model uh, for training uh, so that it can yield a good result. So uh, we get to know that uh, extra reclassifier works on those models having a, a good amount of data like for large and complex data sets. Now moving to our VS code for a practical session and uh, then we will conclude our slide. Okay, so now we have come to our Visual Studios. Now, first we will import the pandas library and using the read csv function, we will uh, read the data set. So, uh, we have uh, previously done this all this in our previous video. So, if you want to uh, see uh, the code processing on iris data set, then you can please check our uh, uh, old videos. So, I'll just uh, run all for now. So, we achieve an accuracy of 93.33. Now, uh, let me just uh, show you, uh, show this to you on Pima uh, Pima Diabetes dataset. Okay. Now, I'll uh, clear all the outputs. I'll import the pandas library. I'll store the dataset in data variable. So this is the data set which I am talking about. Now in this data set we have pregnancies, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, diabetes, pedigree function, age as the feature class and outcome as the prediction class. So the feature class is the one that the user will give us as the input and on the base of this feature class our model will give us the output. Uh, that is the prediction class which is which in this case is outcome Okay, so back to the code snippets now. I'll get the data info So we can see here that there are total 768 columns with all nominal values and their data types And the memory usage of it is 54.1 KB uh, Using this data dot info you can get every uh, important information from uh, from the data of the data set. Okay, I'll comment this section now. Now I'll use the common practice of handling of uh, handling uh, categorical data sets. So outcomes and I'll uh, copy paste this outcome in this now all the values uh, in the data will be stored in X and uh, except for the column outcome column outcome will be dropped and will be stored in the Y variable now I'll run this now the splitting will be done using train test split Okay, so the train test split has been done. Uh, we can check this by uh, printing the shape. So the training shape is more and the testing sp uh, testing shape is less. Uh, this gives us the clue that the training uh, test and train split has been done correctly. 
if I uh, if I split the data into 80-20 ratio, then uh, the testing size is will reduce more and the training size will increase. Okay, so let me just go with 30 only. Uh, now uh, from sklearn.trees, I'll import extra tree classifier and uh, will assign it to CLF variable. Now I will fit this variable or this model with uh, the training and uh, x train and y train. So on the basis of x train and its values, that is y train, the model will train. Uh, the model will train itself, and on the basis of this model, it will predict the. Uh, it will predict on the basis of x test and the prediction it will store in y print variable. I'll run this. Okay, now uh, for printing the accuracy, we will import matrix and from matrix it, uh, we will import accuracy uh, we will use accuracy score function and since uh, y test and y print for each y test and y print uh, value to be same the accuracy will increase and uh, when it will not be same the accuracy will decrease so uh, when i run this the accuracy came to be 61 the uh, accuracy has been reduced since uh, paima uh, this data set is not uh, as not big uh, uh, this extra tree classifier is uh, really good for large data set having like thousands and lakhs of columns uh, so here we just have total of nine columns and 768 data entries so it is less so this this uh, model is not giving a proper accuracy but if the data is more this uh, model will give um, uh, more good or more better accuracy so back to our slides okay so for the conclusion part uh, in the conclusion I would like to say that extra tree classifier or extremely randomized trees is a very versatile and efficient machine learning model a better version of random forest uh, very efficient if you compare it from random forest since it randomly splits uh, the data without uh, uh, first calculating the split point it is a tree based algorithm uh, therefore uh, yielding good results is is uh, uh, you know a good quality of it competitive performance and handles both uh, numerical and categorical data uh, it comes into use in various domains like healthcare and uh, finance etc uh, with its ease of use interpretability and strong predictive power uh, the extra tree classifier serves as a valuable tool for solving classification problems and supporting decision making process so uh, this was it for the video uh, thank you everyone and happy learning